Good morning, everyone. So today we will discuss the hierarchy of the employee. So as you can see, business employee hierarchy is a pyramidal type arrangement of the organization employee, departments and functions. It is a process of analyzing, dividing, and arranging the work or activities into manageable portion for individuals, sections, and department. In such arrangement, the activities are grouped around function such as production, finance, marketing, and operation. Such kind of organizational pyramid give us a vertical hierarchy and the delegation of authority based on the span of control creates multiple levels of employees. So each level in the hierarchy becomes an integral part of a chain of command and act as a channel of or for transmission of authority to the succeeding lower level of the business management. So as you can see on the screen, we have here the board of directors, the top management, senior management, middle management, and operational employees. So as you can see under the board of directors, uh, we have the sectioning of non-executive director, managing director, and chairman. And then followed by the top management, with this, which is the president's. Vice Presidents, Executive Directors, and Chief Executive Officers, followed by Senior Management, which is General Management, Project Head, Chief Project Coordinators, then the Middle Management, which is Project Coordinators, um, project manager and deputy manager and then last is the operational employees which is administrative technical financial and specialized activities as you can see it is all divided according to their work or duties and then it is also divided because it divides the challenges the problem not only addressing to the problem and the challenges it also divides their um, task as you can see, their roles inside the organization or the administration in regards to the business sector. So it is very important at kailangan talagang i, uh, um, i parang ibahagi or ibigay ang kanya-kanyang mga papel sa inside ng business. So etong boss, ito siyang mag-management or in regards to the management all over the company, ito naman si manager, siya yung mga nasa level na mga nasa baba sa mga employees in regards to administration and whatsoever. So may kanya-kanyang parte, may kanya-kanyang papel at may kanya-kanyang duties and roles and responsibility inside the company. So as you can see here, it is one of the example of the hair of employees but we will tackle the simple one so on our next discussion we will tackle what are the duties and the roles of each um, of each levels okay we have here the board of directors top management senior management middle management and operational employees so we will tackle Oh, we will tackle their duties and responsibilities in regards to the business section. Okay, we will proceed to the simple one. So we have here the hierarchy of employees. We have first have the board of president, the VPs or what we call the vice presidents, then the department heads, then the supervisor and the employee itself. So as you can see, on top of the pyramid is the board president, then followed by the vice presidents, and then third one on the rank is the department heads, and then the supervisor and employee. So a hierarchy structures of organization predefines the role of employees within the organization set up and also presets the nature of the relationship that employees will share with each other. Hierarchical, hierarchical structures in organization narrow down as we move 
in the upward direction and showcase centralization in the whole setup. The general organization hierarchies observe the following business employee hierarchy. So as you can see here on the pyramid, it, the first one is board president, the VPs, department heads, supervisor, and employee. Now let's see what we have here. We still have here the pyramid under the hierarchy of employee, which is the, on the first rank, we will have the board president, VPs, department heads, supervisor, and employees. Now, let's take a look with, uh, let's take a look in regards to their orders. What we call, uh, what do we have in orders? Yung order ito, ito yung um, command. Okay, sino kaya ang mangunguna in regards sa command or orders? Whether it's work, it's task, related sa memo, what do we mean by memo? Yung pinapababa from, from the boss, ano yung mag mangyayari within the day, or mga possible new rules and regulations. So, it is considered as orders. So, the order is from the board president, pababa siya sa beef. BP, pababa siya sa department heads, pababa sa supervisor, and up until employee. So, ang order na yan, hindi lang yan basta-basta ginawa ng board president. Of course, it is already tackled inside the company. Or what we have, it is already tackled by the executives. What do we mean by executives? Sila yung mga boss. Sila yung mga sila yung parang nasa top level na ng pyramid or na mga boss of all boss okay so ang order is from top to bottom hindi pwedeng ang order is from employee to board president hindi mo pwedeng utusan especially if you are an employee hindi mo pwedeng utusan ang supervisor mo hindi mo pwedeng utusan si supervisor utusan niya si department heads at hindi rin pwede na ang department heads mag-utos kay BP. At lalong-lalong, hindi pwede ang employee mag-utos kay board president. Ang utos, ang order, ang task, especially when, when it comes to the progress or development of the company, ang mga decision making or mga, ang mga orders from, from the boss down to his or her employee so as you can see here very simple right next we still have the pyramid ladies and gentlemen the board president up until the employee so let's take a look at the decision so first thing and foremost the decision is from ito yung order okay Considered pa rin to as order or decision from board president up until employee. So, next. Oy, tumaas ulit. So, from employee to board president. So, when we all talk about from employee to board president and decision, ganito yon. Ang first scenario niyan is, or ang pinaka-perfect example for that scenario is, ako as employee, boss, merong meron tayong magandang plano for this for this activity especially in this community okay so before mag mag go signals employee of course that plan must be tackled or yung plano kailangan gumawa ng plano si employee na ikakaganda ng project niya so that plan must be presented to the supervisor, okay? If mag-okay si supervisor in regards to the plan sa employee, now, pupunta si supervisor at hihingi ng abiso sa decision-making ng plano ng employee. So, pupunta si supervisor kay department head. Okay, ito yung plano ko. Okay, ito yung plano ni, ni employee number one. Which is okay siya sa akin. Wala akong nakikitang butas. How about you, department heads? So, si department heads naman, nag-okay. So, pag nag-okay si department heads, hindi ka agad yan na didesisyonan. It never stop. Okay? Kasi, baka kung may abirya, ang mananagot niyan, ang department heads or ang supervisor. Kukwestiyonin yan kung hindi yan inakyat sa VPs and the board president. 
kukwestiyonin yung plano kung naging ano yun. Kung in-execute nila yun nun without knowing yung higher rankings. Kung hindi nila alam yun, eh paano kung sumablay? Damay lahat. Okay? So si department head nag-present kay VPs. Ganito ang plano ni employee number one according to the supervisor. Ma'am, sir. So nag-okay si VPs. Then the VPs, they have to present it on the board president. Na sinasabi, may isang employee tayo or si employee number one, uh, may plano siya in regards to the community or mga activities or project. Then, nag-okay si supervisor, department heads, us beefies, nag-okay. How about you, sir? So, ganun ang decision making. Okay? But, on the first scene, yung arrow na blue, from uh, board president up until employee, yan yung decision ng boss papunta sa employee, walang magagawa yung employee niyan and never question it. Okay? On the second one, the green arrow, as you can see, yung decision ng employee, hindi kagad yan basa-basa mag -decision. Okay? Another instances, ako as employee of Fulbright College, gusto kong mag-work from home. Okay? Gusto kong mag-work from home. It is because of the uprising cases of the COVID-19 are all over the Puerto Princesa City, Palawan. This is just for an instance. Ha? I'm not telling that rise, uh, rising ang case. We all know that tama lang naman yung case dito. Well, uh, this is just an instance, ladies and gentlemen. So, example lang ito. Okay. Ako, as... As employee of Fulbright College, gusto kong mag-work from home because of the rising cases of COVID-19 here in the area. So, before ko yan ma-present or mag para sa sarili ko, kasi employee ako ng Fulbright, employee ako ng institution, employee ako ng isang administration na hindi ako basa-basa mag-decide for myself. So, kailangan kong kausapin yung supervisor ko. Then, si supervisor ko gagawa ng letter para sa department head. Si department head, if you forward yung letter ko sa VPs or what we call sa dean, okay, or sa coordinator or whatsoever sa administration, then si administration mag-forward niyan sa president ng institution, which is yung may hari ng school. So, bago sila magbaba na, uh, bago ako mag-decide para sa sarili ko, dadaan muna sila sa stages or level ng mga employees, which is mga boss sa akin. Okay, the decision is color green ang arrow paakyat so ang decision naman nito ano mangyayari sa instance number 2 or example number 2 is blue arrow pag nagdesisyon ang may ari or ang board president na okay sige magli-leave siya or mag-work from home siya so from board up until VPs department heads and supervisor bago para sa akin okay nagigets so there is two ways of decision making one, one arrow is from the top to bottom and then the second arrow is green which is from uh, from bottom to up. Okay? Now, let's talk about the levels of employee. So we have here the levels of employee. Is, the first one is entry level. The second one is, is intermediate. Third is mid-level and the senior executive level or senior or executive level, the last one. So, we will talk about the levels of employee. Alright, the first one is the entry level. So, when you first join the workforce or bagong salang ka palang as employee, so you will, like, you will likely start in an early entry level position. So, syempre, pag una ka pa lang nag-start or una ka pa lang na natanggap sa trabaho or first day of your work, you are the level of entry. Hindi ka naman pwede maging senior executive ka agad. Especially kung wala ka namang experiences naman talaga of the work. Especially when you are fresh graduate or yung tipong first job seeker. So, you are entering the entry level. So, you can usually obtain this role right after finishing school. So, sabi ko sa inyo, graduate or top fresh graduate. Or you might get an entry level of job if you're building a new career in a different industry. In an entry level position, you'll gain the skills 
and experience needed to achieve long-term success in your field. When acquiring this level of experience, considering, consider building a network of reliable co-workers and managers who can become valuable references for future job. So, importante pa rin si entry level. Kahit ay, entry level lang naman siya. No! In regards to entry level, nandyan yung mga experiences. Nandyan, dyan mo ma-acquire yung mga skills. Okay? Even though first level ka pa lang, nandun ang mga experiences and mga skills na ma-acquire. So, it is still a long-term um, success in regards to that level. Kasi nga, dyan mo ma- Ay, magaling pala ako sa ganitong, sa ganitong skills. Hindi ko lang alam dati. Pero, nasasanay na ako. Nagagamay ko na yung trabaho. So, it means, pasok siya sa skills ko. So, one of my skills. So, pag mag-apply ka on other position or another field or another business na may kinalaman doon sa entry level mo na pagpasok mo sa isang kumpanya. So, malilista mo yun as one of your skills, as one of your advantage of yourself. Na if you will hire me, sir, if you will hire me, so ganito yung natutunan ko sa previous ko na workplace, kahit entry level lang. So, pasok siya sa skills mo. Naintindihan? So, next is the intermediate intermediate okay after gaining a few years of experience in a specific field you will oh you will become qualified to start applying to intermediate or associate level job with this level of experience your employer will be less likely to supervise you closely and you may find more opportunities to work independently the stage or this stage might also allow you to obtain some leadership opportunities. For example, after spending four years demonstrating your leadership skills on a team of web designers, your employer may promote you to the team leader. Okay? So, dito sa intermediate na di, parang dito na parang yung na-acquire mo lahat ng skills dito mo ma-apply. So, may possibility that you will become a leader of a team. So, sa loob ng kumpanya, even though nasa employee section pa lang kayo or nasa pinakamababang section, may mayroon yung mga teams. Okay? What do we, do we have by teams? Yan yung mga gumagawa ng projects, gumagawa ng possible progress of or development ng isang kumpanya. So, dyan nagsisimula lahat. So, pag makitaan ka ng, ng skills na naman ng leadership, so, under the intermediate, you will become a leader. So, very important yun na role, especially na may mga nakikita sa yung skills na wala sa iba or unique skills that you have in yourself na pwedeng makatulong in the future or the near future ng kumpanya. Okay, next, we have the mid-level. If you reach the mid-level position, you will likely oversee the goals and achievement of one or more departments. Mid-level employees usually hold managerial roles within their company and ensure the day-to-day -day operation of an organization are running smoothly. Then, or they offer to report to higher or executive level manager who may not, who may not personally oversee the specific objective of each department. Then the next level or the last level is the senior or executive level. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo ng mga boss. Executive level. Okay, to obtain an executive level position, you will usually first need to work in the same field for many years and gain extensive experience in a manager, managerial role. In this type of position, you'll set overall goals for your organization, set policies and procedure, and communicate with stakeholders. Earning an executive level job often requires significant networking and proven skills in your industry. All right. So that is the levels of employee. Next, we will tackle the levels of hierarchy of employee. So first is the first level, then we have followed the middle level and the top level. 
First level is what we call the frontline management. Again, first level is what we call the frontline management. So frontline management balances functional expertise with strong interpersonal skills to optimize specific operational process. So we will tackle further what is or what is inside the frontline management. So ngayon, tataka lang muna natin yung definition on each levels of hierarchy of employee. So next discussion, we will tackle the duties and the responsibilities of every employees. Then the second one is to tackle, uh, to deepen our understanding on the first level, middle level, and top level of the levels of hierarchy of employees. So next is the middle level management. Le um, middle management is the intermediate management le level accountable to top management and responsible for leading lower level managers. Next is the top level management. So this one is the higher or high level managers tend to have a substantial amount of experience, ideal, ideally across a wide variety of function. And many high-level managers become part of the executive team by mastering their functional discipline across various roles, becoming a chief operation officer or what we call the COO, chief marketing officer or CMO, chief technology officer or CIO or CTO, then the chief financial officer or CFO, and or Chief Executive Officer or CEO. Top management team are also often industry experts, having a close association with the long-term trajectory of business they operate in. They often benefit from charismatic, powerful, or powerful communicators with a strong sense of accountability, confidence in integrity, and a comfort with risk. So that's it. That's all for today. I hope, guys, you learned something from me today. Um, next um, discussion, we will tackle the employees and their duties. And we will tackle to deepen our understanding in regards to the levels of hierarchy of employee. First, we will tackle the first level, then followed by middle level and top level. All right. So I hope you learned something from it today. I hope you stay safe and stay well. Everyone, have a great day ahead. Bye-bye.